Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET, and today we're going to take a look at Sony's 2012 edition of its Bio L series all-in-one. Now, Sony is trying some interesting things with this PC, but overall, some of the highlights fall flat, which makes it hard to justify paying more for those parts, particularly when you don't have as much computing power as you might get from a similar all-in-one from another vendor. So this is a 24-inch all-in-one with a touchscreen, a gesture control system, and a built-in TV chip. It comes with an Intel Ivy Ridge third generation Core i5 mobile CPU, as well as a Blu-ray drive, HDMI input and output, and a whole bunch of other features that make it kind of an interesting system. So starting with the good, there are some things we like about this system. It's so like a lot of all-in-ones, there's different ways you can send a signal to this display. You can run it off the PC, off the HDMI input, off the TV tuner, or off the composite video jacks. Now, what's actually cool about the system is that Sony has a nice menu feature that lets you control the display and the audio setup for each of those different modes. So that means if you have a certain preference for how you want your PC to look, you can change that when you get to the TV mode to make it look entirely different. So Sony has tried to push the idea of using this as a home entertainment system even further by including a chip from its Bravia TV line inside the display that powers the video. The problem, though, is that that chip really doesn't benefit Windows Video more than you would get from, say, a standard graphics card, but it doesn't do 3D acceleration. Now the chip is also supposed to have an impact when you connect the cable box to the HDMI input or if you connect the TV tuner, but the problem is the video signal really doesn't look that much better compared to another all-in-one with just a standard video processor in it. That means you're not really getting much from the TV chip, but you are losing 3D processing power, so if you want to use this as a gaming system as well as a home video player, it's really not the best option. Another feature that's disappointing is the gesture control system. It simply doesn't work. Uh, you can open up the software settings and play around with the sensitivity. It gives you a basic tutorial of what's supposed to happen. But then when you actually try to use the gesture control in applications, it really is not that responsive, if it works at all. Now, you don't really lose anything with this PC because it has gesture control. It runs through the webcam, so there's no extra hardware you need to purchase. And it's kind of a nice idea. We appreciate that Sony's experimenting, but it's definitely frustrating that it doesn't work. You see the right side here, you've got an SD card reader, three USB 3 inputs, that's a great feature. Firewire, as well as a couple of audio jacks. Around here in the back, you can see the various video inputs. You have your HDMI in and out over here, your composite video, as well as your TV tuner. Over here, this is actually another nice feature. There's three USB ports that work when the system isn't even plugged in. Finally, over here, you can see the hard buttons that let you run the menu, and here's the slot loading Blu ray drive. So, overall, Sony is trying some interesting things with this system. The problem is that because the TV chip doesn't provide a lot of value and the gesture control falls flat, it doesn't really deliver on its promises. Between that and its slow performance from a mobile chip and no dedicated graphics card, it's really hard to like the system, especially for its price. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the 2012 edition of Sony's Bio L-Series All-in-One.